Hello everyone, and welcome back to I Was a Teenage Exo Colonist. We are in the final year pre-Helios, I believe. Uh, we've got first perk and all of our social skills. We're about to get the second perk on our persuasion, which is pretty awesome. Our organizing is pretty rad as well. Everything else, though, is fairly trash, which is maybe not the greatest. I'd really like to get that perception and toughness up. Or at the very least, perception. But yeah, pretty sure we talked to Marzipu last time. Seems to be. Okay. I think we have just changed our physical appearance as well. Everyone's gotten their tier 2 upgrade. Hey, Tangent. This one is definitely not new. Okay. Definitely need to repair their relationship one of these lives. Okay, I can go out now if I really want to. Which we will only start doing when food is an issue. Right, because I can't go to... No. I can go to the plains, but the plains aren't where I need to go. It's the Valley of Vertigo. That's going to have uh, all of our food options. Alright, well, let's get back to work. We are at 51 stress. You're constantly filling requisitions for snow shovels and waterproof boots. Like every year, people forget that it snows on Vertumna. At least everything gets recycled afterwards. One card becomes value of three. That's not bad. Yeah, I can make that work. Oh, I see. That's a little inconvenient. 29 and 29 either way, okay. Could have got a 33 out of that. All right, all right. One more thing of working in... Oh yeah, we're 14 now. Uh, one thing of working in the depot is that our persuasion goes up, which is pretty decent. Hi! Antecedents love. Hi, Anemone! Yeah, baby suck. I also don't want to hear about your period, that is correct. Alright, let's get through the birthday, come on! Family is more important than the people who birthed you, Garrett. Never forget it. That is absolutely true. Not very fond of most of my birth family. I mean, some of them I like, but you know, they're off doing their own things, and I don't really care. I don't think they care about mine either. And uh, there are a few that I actively just cannot stand and do not wish well for. Outside of a general wishing well for all of humanity kind of way. But there are a few people who are not my biological family that I care very much for. So remember everyone, family isn't always the people that you're born with. Sometimes it is, and that's fantastic if it is. But family is who you choose to be your family. 
you know, after a certain point. I don't think, uh, if you're like seven, don't be like, you're not my dad, and just walk out. Yeah, don't, don't do that. That's not going to go well for you. But like, once you're an adult, or even kind of, you know, as a, as a teenager, you do kind of pick and choose your family. You and Mars come up with a game involving whether or not the next requisition will have an even or odd quantity of items. She plays for three rounds before declaring it too boring and going back to reading a magazine on her holopalm. First collectible use is free. Interesting. Six, six, five, five, three. All cards to the right become science. Will that help us? That's 31. That's 37. That definitely does not help us then. Um... Sure. Oh, that was... Right, I should have done... I should have just done a mushwood. That was very foolish of me. Whatever, fine. Get me back to 37. Oh, is it one more for the perk? I guess it's one more. Yeah, I only get a tw uh, plus 20 bonus. Isn't it? Oh, 56! I was only minusing 10. No, okay, we got, we got a few more to do then before we rank up. I think I was also trying to do babysitting in this life. Yeah, because that gets us uh, empathy. Can also help in the kitchens, which is a thing. Practice my photo phoner. You know what? Sure, let's actually do a bit with that. We've done two concerts already. You've been practicing the photo phoner by watching tutorial videos and copying what you hear, but that's just one part of learning how to make music. It's time to write your own music. What kind of style would you should you use for your compositional debut? Interesting. Angry and spicy. Torn between these two, let's go with something slow and thoughtful to start. That's very mature of you. To what do you credit your inspiration? Vertumna. The wormhole? Space itself? There's so much you don't know. You sit down to compose your great work. You have a rudimentary grasp on notation, preferring a more instinctive, spiritual approach to music. But slowly, something begins to come together. That's a pretty solid card. Eventually, you have something you're actually really proud of. You worked hard, and it's a genuinely good piece of music and holographic performance. Everyone who sees your performance agrees. You've done great work. This will probably go down in colony history as one of the first original pieces of art to have been made on Vertumna. Ah, take that, Nomi Nomi! I have sniped you in this lifetime! They, I believe, were the first to do so in our other lifetimes with the book? Or, or comic? I think it was a book. Might be a comic. Makes sense, because they're pretty artistic, but... Haha, we sniped it this time! And I'm not even doing a focused life in that regard. Uh, when slot becomes three, that does not help us, unfortunately. At least that one will give a benefit to others. Still could have gotten a 50 out of it, damn. Some good creativity out of that. Uh, three more of those and we'll rank up. Although we are getting a little stressed. Which is worth noting. Welcome to Pollen. How's my friendship with you coming, Mars? Almost at max. You'll love to see it. Hey, Dice. I should go give you a thing. Hey, bud. Have some roots. What's your birthday? Ooh, 
late wet. Okay. Hey guys. How are we doing? 70. Um. I don't know if I'm just kind of wasting time here. I feel like I'm just kind of wasting time uh, continuing to work in the depot. I don't think it can advance at all until uh, the Helios lands. So I think that I'm going to work on other things. 66555. Five, five. Too bad I don't have two other fives. Yeah, we could have gotten a 46, probably if I'd used that other... That's fine. Ah. You wanna tell us about the food? Yeah, we'll go to the meeting. Oh! I clicked nah. Okay, sure. Your dad clears his throat. Garrett doesn't have to go if he doesn't want to, he says. There's no need upsetting him if he already knows. You finish your meager lunch. Your stomach grumbles a hungry complaint and you get back to work. Within a few hours, the colony's social media is abuzz with people talking about it. Word must be getting out. We are headed into another famine and the colony needs foragers. Your dreams say your mother won't survive, but there is still time to save her. Yeah. Alright, how are we doing on stress? 78. Let's do... I mean, it, it, it would make no sense to go out now. But, like, I could spend most of the rest of the year, and we do want to make some trips out there. All right, fine. We'll see what we can do. Here, you know what, before we go, maybe we can buy something that will help us. Bravery boost would be decent. Nah, not really. No, none of the other ones. Yeah, let's just go. Let me get some perception out of it. Ooh, and we'll get some decent collectibles, which will help us for a bit. Will we be okay? We don't really have a lot in the way of animals or perception, which would really help us. Sure, we'll flirt with her. Always take the Utopia flirt option. Unfortunately, I cannot pass through events. See, like, look at that. We are currently lost. I'm just kind of wandering through here. Trying to stay in a positive direction. Dead end. But it's a lovely dead end. A magical, beautiful dead end. A shaft of sunlight finds its way through the fog and makes the entire clearing glow. Sometimes getting lost can be worthwhile. You don't know where you're going, but you know where you are. Interesting. We'll definitely take that uh, minus 30 stress and uh, a card we're not going to have to try and get later. We are absolutely lost, though. We'll try heading west as much as we can. I 
that's another dead end. I feel like I can actually map this place out. If I pay attention. I know I've been here before. sure I just went in a circle. Yeah. Yeah, these messages seem to be very specific, and I know I'm not reading them, but that's okay. We don't need to read them all. Do I, do I just, like, I'm, I feel like I'm trying to go north, but should I be trying to go east, or, um, south instead? No, because I can't go south. That's a dead end. Oh, yeah, and this is that dead end. It's less magical than the first time. scarf wrapped around this mush tree. You've been here before. Yeah, can I just, like, leave? Like, eventually I have to be able to get out of here. In frustration, you bang your hollow palm against your other palm. Essentially, you're clapping, alone, in the wilderness, like a fool. It seems to do the trick. Though, so, your hollow palm registers a signal from base camp and brings up a map and compass. Well, at least you're out of here. Staring at all this jungle has made you a little more perceptive to the subtle differences. Maybe next time you won't get so lost? Good. For a moment I thought it was going to kick me back to camp. Something about the ground here draws your attention. Yeah, sure, we'll scope through it. 76, that won't be too hard, right? He says, knowing it will be very, very hard. Just gotta get a 47 on this last one. Twenty-eight. Um got a four five six going on there, which is neat. changeable. I think 28 is the best we can get here. Could have gotten a 37. I don't see how. Scratch your head. Yeah, ground's lumpy, all right. You take a few steps and the ground caves in. You sink up to your thigh in the foul-smelling, sticky liquid underneath. Ugh, gross. What is... Oh, it's just a patch of unripe potato. You must have ruptured their membranous skin. Unfortunately, unripe potato smells awful. And so will you for the rest of the expedition. Hooray! But we gotta clear as much of this ground out here as we can so we can get to the important bits. Ah. 
Squeezer Hive. I don't think we can do that. Yeah, unfortunately. But that's a source of food. 90. This is our last event. That's fine. We'll be coming back after we rest. Cloud of Pollen. Yeah, we don't have Perception 50. Oh. Well, no going around it. You sneeze through the pollen cloud, right into the jaws of a hideously bloated pregnant snapladder. These territorial predators are infamous amongst expeditions. When they're heavily pregnant, they use the pollen fog to pick off their prey. Today, you're the prey. Yeah, we're decently tough. And there's no thing here that messes up all of our cards. Six, five. Maybe not those ones yet. Sure. One, one, two, twelve. Yeah. Ooh, glad I saved. Okay. Uh, or saved the good cards, I mean. Straight's better, but I have a two bonus to that, so that does make sense. Then in that case, get the 50. Or would it be better to do that? No, it would not. Could have gotten a 52 even. God, I thought I was being so clever. It's a close one. You detangle yourself from its snickety snackety bite bits and run. Too gravid to follow you, the snap bladder roars in annoyance. Smells worse inside. Minus two to combat challenges. I kind of want that just for the card, but I guess we can always get this event later. It's pregnant. Just once. Uh, kind of want that card. Fine. You know what? My justification is that it, this could harm, you know, one of the other expeditions members. So fine. This thing is a trap waiting to injure other surveyors. Exactly. So you're going to do everyone a favor and just... Oh dear, did you just trip and land right back within range of the thing? Yes, yes you did. It pins you with two sharp appendages and proceeds to swallow you whole... Wait, what? God damn. Minutes later, as you're being slowly crushed and its digestive juices start to sting you, a crack of light appears. The snap bladder is sliced in two and you slide out of it, half naked and covered in slime, alongside a hundred wriggling premature snap bladder babies. When you're finally able to stand up and take in the scene, you're alone. You aren't sure what or who saved you, but you're grateful. You stumble back to the past somehow and return home burned and bruised. Ah oh, well, thanks, Sim. That's fine. We were going to leave anyway. Got a bit of perception bonuses in there. Yeah, and we need to rest now. Mars's birthday is early what? Early what? Yeah, so we won't give you a gift now, so we won't be able to give you one on your birthday. Yes, I know I need a break. Thank you. You sit at the window and watch people hard at work in geoponics. You feel a little guilty putting your feet up when everyone else is working so hard, but who could blame you? Famine has you stressed out. Yeah. We'll help out next month. Hmm. Oh, definitely get rid of that card. That has not benefited us at all. Alright, now we gotta head back out there. Oh, it's dust! It's not wet. Well, shit, yeah, have a flower, girl. Ooh, 
Ooh, and another one. Haha. -ha. The Valley of Vertigo. Okay, we made it back to where we split. I think we have to go that way. Oh, hello. I am going to harvest from you. You are not going to like it. Needed the food. I'll have to check what we're at, but we're probably at 90% for uh, food rating. Minus 90%. It's a Ricky. Hey, maybe we'll find the one that we uh, saved. Sorry, guys. That sucks. Oh, wait, hold on. Ah, uh, nothing that ups bravery. I maybe should have bought that, Kate. Actually, that probably would have been a very good thing to do, and then I could just swap the jacket for it. Um, I have to pass through here, though, so... Sorry, guys. First collectible use is free. Did I really get two of those? That sucks. First collectible use is free. Um, noise. Well, that wasn't so hard. You smack a couple of them to the ground, and the rest scuttle up the boughs and hide there. You puff your chest out bravely and walk on. Yeah, but that was mean. I don't want to be mean. This is the sponge, yep. Oh no, okay. Just take a flower, I'll take a flower. I could have de-stressed, but we're not super stressed for now. We did have to pass through. Here we go. That's five colony food. Definitely helps, but we need more. Some mushrooms, hopefully it's food mushrooms and not the explosive ones. Sure, those interacted well. Good old gem interaction. Forty points, we can do that. Two, three, four, seven, eight. Raw, baby. Yay! You're able to determine that these mushrooms are edible. You fill up your basket with big chunks of tasty fungus. Toby is pleased with your haul. Good work. Hooray! So that's seven food we've accounted for. Hi, are you our pet, Ricky? Ooh, sing to it. 
Your path is blocked by a massive eight-legged xenofauna, something between a spider and squid and a bear. It's in a rage, grunting furiously and bashing itself against trees and rocks at random. You duck and hide as it glares in your direction, its breath heaving and dozens of eyes gleaming with madness. It's the same soft pink and purple you recognize from the multi-legged Ricky that live in, the, in this area, but so much larger. Could this be a related species? Yeah, we'll sing to it. First collectible use is free, that's decent. Get rid of those. Six, 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 five. Nice, we can work with that. Put Dad's love at the top because it's always number one. Four, 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 six, eight. Hell yeah. Oh, first collectible use was free. I should have. That's fine. This is a strange approach, but you've seen it work in vids. Sometimes music can soothe the savage beast. You sing a lullaby, and the great beast looks at you with curiosity. Eventually its eyes drift closed, and it settles down, tucking its many legs underneath it. It must have been very tired to begin with, like a toddler who skipped their nap. No need to kill it recklessly. Besides, maybe we'll encounter it later, and it'll be beneficial. Hi, Manticore. How you doing? I don't really want to deal with you just yet, if at all. Hi, other Vricky. Um, I know we can't do anything with it even if we fight and win, so we'll just wait, have a bit of stress as it takes a while, but that's fine. It's only three extra. We're at 93, which means we can do one more event. We've got this one here, we've got the manticore down below. Oh, hi there. And then we could also go this path. And we have... One event right here, or I think that's the other side of the event we had before. So let's be selective about this. Kind of get a grasp. Okay, we should be able to do this one. Yeah, sure, we'll take the extra food. We'll wait. Yeah, okay, we can at least go check what's up here. Bristle slug. It's rooting around in the underbrush. It's like a little porcupine with no legs. Well, little is relative. It comes up to your waist and it must be at least a hundred kilograms. I've seen a few of these up in geoponics. They're easy to catch and their spines and berries naturally fall off and are edible. A chewy, renewable, renewable source of food. Kind of like jerky. Maybe you could catch this one? Not a chance. If we observe it, do we find food? No. Miraculously, it doesn't even notice you're here. You watch it bumble around. It's so cute. It has no legs, just a scaled belly that it kind of flexes and undulates to get around. And unlike a slug, it isn't slimy at all. Actually, it's pretty darn adorable. You know what? That's fine. We'll do that. Um, that way we've opened up that path to explore when we come back. Oh. Apparently that got us above 100. Sweet. Mom, choose some food because, you know, I don't want you to die. Yeah, this one last life, so I'm not worried about reading it all. Oh, and Vertimnalia, that actually comes in handy. Oh, and it's different because we actually solved the famine before before Vertimnalia. 
This year you have a lot to be thankful for. As you file into the main square, you see the feast table laden with the literal fruits of your labors. Great big piles of forged food compete for table space with terrines overflowing with potatoes and corn, all steaming and gorgeous in the high dust sunlight. It was a lot of hard work, but you can be proud. You did this. You helped. Whoops. Can I scroll up, please? Uh, nothing really important. Okay. Talent show it is. You and Mars report to the stage for the talent competition. Dice is nowhere to be seen. Mars frowns, looking around as if he's lying in wait. Oh, boo, she grumbles. He always made me look good. If it's just you, I'm only the best out of two. You've literally never won. Does some speech craft. And we might as well stick with the music kick we've got going. We'll do an original song. A different one than the one that we already composed. This is our second song. Alrighty. Let's do that, that, and that just to get it out of there. That goal wasn't even that high. Um, we'll do you, 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 and you. And then we'll pile on our double talent show champion wins right there. Got almost all sevens. Actually, yeah, all sevens. Hell yeah. Mars's act was a tough one to follow, but the talent show is judged by audience applause. No one wants to be lectured about uncomfortable truths, and your lighthearted song easily wins over the audience. Mars looks miffed at the snub, but shakes your hand. Geniuses are rarely appreciated in their time, she says. Cool. So, we could probably go out again, to be honest with you. At uh, 49, we would be able to do a few more events, and then we wouldn't have to rest just yet. Nothing else in here. Okay. Yeah, shoot. Might as well. I didn't even check what our food rating was, but... Like, I, I, I kind of just want to finish out here. And like I say, maybe we'll find that Bricky we rescued. Which would be cool, and then we'd have an actual pet. Is the path that I opened with that bristle slug. Oh, hi, Dave. How you doing? A hefty red Xeno egg. Oh, nice. Blep bush. Heck yeah, this is a good card. Plus two for each gem on other cards. Yep. And that almost completely de-stressed us. You'll love to see it. Man, too bad I couldn't have done that one and then the bristle slug. Alright, well then let's deal with this. Our animals is only at one. That's tragic. Card gets plus two. Sure, get rid of those. Um, sure, I guess. Well, what does that leave us? It's not bad. Be a heck of a lot worse. Thirty-five. 
Don't you mean to say 43? I should have done that 7, 8, 9. Oh well. Cool. Won't be able to do that again easily though. And that links up to the Manticore area? Yeah. You know what? Sure, let's go ahead and do that. Ah, the manticore that fell in with these snap bladders. Be nice to it. But I can't have it be three, four, five. Well, I can really do that. Six, six, five, five, forty-six. Wait a second. Why is that fifty? We still have the six, seven, eight. Oh, I guess because the sixes are next to each other. That must be it. Still could have gotten a 51, eh? Interesting. Helping an animal. Cool. Alright, is there anything else we can do here? Side of hunting for collectibles that I am sure I have missed. Is that it? Might actually be it. Oh, and this is back to the beginning. No, it literally just loops back over here. Okay. Uh, yeah, then I think we have done everything we can in the valley. Sad, no Ricky friend for us. There's nothing else over here, right? Well, let's go back. Go home. Some more. We can also practice our photo phoner. Where's my persuasion at? Oh, thank you. 78. Creativity is 52. Alright, let's go do another work in the depot, see if it's a waste of time. It probably is. Yep. Uh, not a three rounder. Card becomes three. Bite me. Interesting, they both have the same effect. Plus one skill on brain challenge, when I. Eh? I think I would like to have that. Uh, 
some extra organizing. We only need one more month of that to be maxed out in it. That's pretty hype. And Mars, I have it on good authority that it is your birthday. I saved that for you. But actually, now that this, we have a lot of those, let's give you that instead. Also, we can share some gossip with Mars. I don't think I've ever had Persuasion 80, so that one is definitely going to be new. Mars's eyes go wide when you tell her you know something she doesn't. Dishing the dirt. Impossible, she exclaims. I am the queen of knowing everybody's dirty dirt. Try me. When you're done sharing your gossip, Mars is speechless. I... What? Really? She gasps, holding her hand to her chest. No way! That sounds like it came straight out of a hollow vid. They really said that? She shakes her head in disbelief. Wow. Thank you, Garrett. 97. Have a mush log. Oh yeah, I should go check the notice board. I am responsible for 80 food. 80% of the food. So let's see what it's sitting at. Oh, not the supply depot. Ten percent. So we already we were only down by seventy percent. Okay. Sufficient. It's definitely not bad. Okay. Doesn't seem to be anything else. So that should max out our organizing, which is pretty sick. our persuasion at 83 so 63 so we are actually close to leveling that up too optional card skip can choose not to take new cards why why would I want that I mean, if I don't want the card, just don't use it. There's nothing in the, there's nothing in this game that forces itself to be played. I don't think. Huh. I guess we'll see the next time I do a card thing. Uh, let's maybe do some supply delivering. See if anything new comes of that. You're in geoponics, delivering a load of fertile soil that the surveyors have brought in from outside the wall. It'll go towards restoring the outdoor garden beds for the hardy root vegetables and native plants. Cal greets you and helps guide the hoverlift to the unloading zone. It looks heavy, he says. I can take it from here, but I can lift more than you. Cal looks doubtful. Uh, you don't need to. Seriously, don't hurt yourself, Garrett. It's not a competition. Garrett, smash! He <laughs> dumped his 30. Garrett, don't smash. Aww. Your big, beautiful muscles fail as soon as you try to lift one sack of soil. Okay, maybe Cal really is way stronger than you. All hail Cal. Cal is great. Does he enjoy your praise? Cal looks uncomfortable. Okay, he says slowly. Like I said, not everything is a competition, Garrett. That's fine. Sorry you're sad about being better than me. <laughs> All right, six five. Six six. Wait, what, what? Wait a second, what? Didn't I have a card that was better in the first or last pain? Where the hell did that go? Did I imagine that? I. I guess I imagine that. It's very clearly not here. That's so weird. 
Um, okay. Easy 39. Oh, plus two bonus to pairs. Interesting. Could have gotten a 42 out of that. Boy. Organizing perception, that did not help us in any capacity. I mean, perception, I guess, but only by one point. Late what? Hey, Dice, it's your birthday! Do I even have anything you like? Not really. Well, I have a log then. It's a birthday log. Log it for your birthday. Oh, hey, it's almost glow. Um. Hmm. I guess I'll do an activity this month and then I'll rest during glow because we want to make sure we have uh, stress available for what's to come. How far are we away? We are three away for persuasion. Fine, we'll do one more work in the depot. Cal stops by to pick up some replacement parts for a broken wheelbarrow. He complains a little that he has to use boring old tech and not the hover lifts, but you can tell he actually really enjoys just doing the work. Plus two bonus to pairs again, okay? gotten a 43. That's okay. Probably if I put Mars's thing at the very front. Yeah, one more month of that and we rank up our persuasion. Crystal, thank you. Oh yeah, I, I, I didn't see the optional skip draw thing what's that about 93 so we could max out our stress or is there even really anything we can do here I, I mean I'm probably going to go try and save Uticot our bravery is enough that we should be able to go out there fine we'll, we'll rank up our persuasion maybe that'll help during the Lum saga See, no option to skip a draw. Although, I guess I haven't had a tiered one in a bit. This isn't a tiered one either. I don't know what I'm talking about, clearly. Um. Oh, I got three fives there. That's not bad. Oh, first collectible use is free. Sure. 41, 45. Noise. There's persuasion ranked up. And it's attack time. The only reason I'm running out is so that we can then choose to go save Uticot. I don't think we could have done that before. Yeah, yeah, we're in the crèche when it attacks. Oh, does that mean we will not be able to save Tammy? Not really sure how that works. But we're gonna go save Governor Uticot, because I've never done that before. The smaller creatures are making a beeline for command, slipping into the heart of the colony while the defense squad is distracted. The line of slinking, many-legged beasts pass by much easier targets, moving with eerie, almost tactical purpose. Whatever's happening, you have to stop them. The scene in command is chaos. The blast doors that would have protected the bridge from depressurization in space are held open by a mound of corpses, both human and animal, and inside you hear Governor Uticot screaming for someone to help her. Let's do it. 
And this one is a round round one, not tiered one. Um, okay, let's just take that three nice and easy. And then go four, five. I couldn't choose not to draw. Okay, what? what? You can choose not to take new cards. Oh! Oh! Like, when we get a card, like, when we get a new card to add to our deck, I can just choose to say, nah, bro, I don't want that in my deck. Oh, that is cool. I thought it had to do with the card challenges. Okay, I, I, I'm, I'm here for that. Uh, one, one, which means we're actually not going to be at 100. Uh, five. I kind of don't want to waste these. I mean, all right, fine. I guess we'll leave the ones. We'll do that first. So we go five, six. That's one for each gem on each card. And maybe just do the five. Sure. Nice. Um, okay, so then we go six, five, currently six. Just kind of move everything over a moment and do that and that. Six, seven, eight. You beat back enough beasts to help Uticod escape the bridge. As you shelter under a meeting room table, you hear horrible noises from the rest of the ship. Metal screeching, that terrible abomination roaring, the sounds of the creatures outside tearing their way through the hallways and trashing everything. Suddenly, the ship lurches and drops a few feet, buckling under the weight of something massive. Out the porthole window, you see a fleshy pink tentacle slap against the side of the ship before the faceless abomination outside crashes to the ground, taking the entire outer wall of the ship with it. Uticot sobs quietly into her hands in the sudden silence. You wait a long time until congruence gives you the all clear. The council calls an all colony meeting to face the gloom of to face the aftermath of the attack. In the oppressive gloom of glow, you gather near engineering with the other survivors. It's one of the few buildings still standing. The corpse of the Faceless still sits in the caved-in wreckage of the stratosphere, spilling its flaccid pink tentacles from its horrible zipper-toothed maw. It's already beginning to stink. At least the governor survived. That's a good uh, card to have. Governor Uticott takes the stage and thanks you personally for rescuing her during the attack. Because of your bravery, the colony still has its leader. She also acknowledges the bravery of the defense squad, citing their heroism in finally taking down the Faceless. If only it hadn't gotten away from them and stampeded right into the stratosphere. At least they stopped it before it got into engineering, as it would have activated the reactor and left a crater the size of an asteroid impact. Geoponics is gone, the greenhouse is destroyed, and fields trampled. After a year of suffering, starving, and only barely scraping by, you're not just back where you started, it's even worse. The entire front half of the stratospheric has been destroyed. The living quarters, the canteen, the garrison, the lounge, even the creche. It's all gone. It's only by some stroke of luck that people hiding in the creche weren't all killed. Governor Uticott solemnly reads the names of those who lost their lives. Too many. You all stand for a moment of silence. You feel the weight of loss like a blow to your chest. Anemone and her family cry out when her brother Calm's name is called, and their quiet sobbing continues through the silence. Okay, Tammy was injured, but she's fine. That's good. I was worried about her. With the living quarters destroyed, everyone moves into the engineering wing for shelter. You're crowded into the classroom with other families. The adults try to make it seem like a sleepover, but you're all still so shaken. Tammy doesn't return to the classroom. The little ones got out okay, but she's still in med bay and will be for a while. An anemone. We're all in mourning. Cool. Well, welcome to year 15, year 5. The Helios will be landing in a few short months. 
But this is where we are going to leave it off for today. Ooh, we actually managed to get a full episode length out of this one. I guess because I had a lot more reading and exploring to do. So thank you to everyone for joining me. I hope you had fun. If you like this kind of content and want to see more like it, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, all that good stuff. Really helps out a lot. And I will see you all next time for some more I Was a Teenage Exo-Colonist. Bye-bye.